Hello, this is Brian Lawfer, Vice President here at Aspire Technologies. This video will introduce you to the new heading line type introduced in QuoteWorks version 4.6. Before this feature, the QuoteWorks community used comment lines to accomplish some of this functionality, but I'll show you how to extend heading lines to their fullest capabilities. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with some basic QuoteWorks functionality that you've already been using, and then we're going to build on that, uh, really being able to take advantage of the heading lines. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add a product to the quote here. So we'll go to the specials folder here and maybe add this TV. So we've got this line on the quote. So if we take a look at it, we can go to print and preview. Great, we've got our TV in there. But, you know, you might want to be able to say, you know, what room this TV came from. So, you know, we might want to insert a comment line like you've already been doing, most likely, and we'll just say living room, for instance. And then, uh, you know, add a subtotal. So, you know, now we know exactly, um, you know, what the amount is for that living room. So we go to print and preview. Hey, that's great. So that's probably kind of the stuff you've been doing. You know, if you're in IT, you might have been using it, you know, comment lines to separate out, you know, you know, product and different product and service types like servers, workstations, services and whatnot in the AV on the AV industry side, you might be using it for like family room, master bedroom, you know, separating out the rooms. So you know, that's that's what you've been doing. Um, but really, you probably want to be able to say, have some comments about that living room, for instance. You know, uh, you know. so if I insert another comment line, you might want to say something like, you know, this is uh, the main TV viewing room, for instance. So, you know, you can, you know, put it in whatever you want. But if we were to take a look at that, you know, before, you know, we'd have this breakout like this, which really, you know, it's great um, that you're able to have that information in there, but you're not really able to be as descriptive as you'd like. Um, so what we can do is with this comment line that we've already got, I can go ahead and go to line type here and change this to a heading line, just like that, okay? So if we go to print and preview with an existing line, it doesn't, uh, existing layout, I should say, doesn't know what to do with it, but I've customized a layout, and this will be available on the website, um, you know, showing that now we've got the heading line behaving like a comment line used to, and now we've got our comment line um, being able to describe what this section is about. Um, so you can see that there. So that's the first step. So let's go ahead and add another heading line here. And so we'll just go to add our insert heading here. We'll go ahead and give it a name like bedroom. So, uh, so if I spell that right. <laughs> okay, and then we'll go ahead and add a subtotal as well. Okay, so the other really cool f feature uh, with the heading line is the fact that now from the product lookup, I can use the add item assistant. And so if I were to say double click on this Xbox, I can now select which heading I want to add this under. So I just added bedroom, so let's go ahead and do that. And you'll notice it added it under bedroom. And it's got some, you know, artificial intelligence going on where it'll look for the last uh, either the uh, subtotal or another heading line to know where to put it. So as you can see, we've got that there. So the bedroom now has an Xbox. Um, what we can do too is, you know, if I go back to my specials here, you know, maybe I also want to put an, a an iPad in the bedroom as well, but I actually want it to be inserted above that uh, uh, that Xbox. So all I'll do is do insert, and there we go. So now it just inserts it above that. So we do have the ability to build upon this. So if we go to print now and uh, go ahead and preview it, there we go. So we've got it broken apart now by rooms uh, with the different subtotals. Um, but really where you can take advantage of this functionality is by using templates. Because a lot of times, you know, uh, you know, in the AV industry, you're going to have, you know, maybe five main rooms that you normally work with, or in the IT industry, you know, you're going to have those categories that are normally in play. So what you can do is start off with a template. So if I go File New, I've already created a three-room template here. So I've got a living room, a family room, and a bedroom. And they all have comment lines about them as well. Uh, and we can thank uh, Wikipedia for these descriptions. And there we go. So we've got comments now about each one of, of those rooms. And you'll probably want to customize those, obviously. So now what I can do is, you know, if I'm, for instance, if maybe I don't need the bedroom, I can go ahead and select those, 
delete those lines and now I'm just going to be working with the living room and the family room so if I go to products here go to specials and maybe in the main room you know I want to go ahead and add a 73 inch TV so we'll go ahead and add that under living room and we'll append and in there we also want that Xbox we'll go ahead and pen that there and then you know in the uh, the family room we want an iPad and the 65 inch TV we can do that so that's a very easy way to separate things out now um, you could also if we go back up to um, our products here and our specials you know we can still you know just have it go it, behave the way that we had before with just appending or inserting anywhere in the document if the underheading is none. So I'll just append that and I'll just add it to the bottom. So if we go to print and preview, we now have our living room with the subtotal of the living room and then we've got our family room with those two items, our subtotal, and then that last item that I added as well with the grand total at the bottom. So it's a great way to really streamline the quoting process, being able to break things apart, and also be able to add items under different sections. Um, and again, you will want to customize your layouts to really take advantage of the functionality so you can have those different colors and whatnot um, and make it so that the comment lines go the full width of, of the layout. Um, but that's really easy to do. Um, we'll have some more uh, videos on how to customize the layouts. Uh, if you have any questions on this functionality, please feel free to give us a call 407-248-1481. Again, 407-248-1481. 1481 or send us an email at support at quitworks.com. Thank you and have a great day.